Uh, most of the polls I went to in the evening around dinner time, it seemed like a lot of people were getting out, you know, for a primary election. I thought that was that was good, and the weather helped us too. But all in all, I'm happy with the way things turned out, and I think well, one major thing that's going to happen now is that uh, maybe we can get on the issues and discuss the issues and the things that are important to the people in Niagara Falls, and uh, uh, now we can bring a... Uh, the campaign, so to speak, to my court, because now we're going to have to talk about the charter. We're going to have to talk about the way we do business as far as the budget process is concerned. We're going to have to discuss uh, issues that really have been left, you know, by the wayside, but they're very, very important. And uh, I think, uh, if nothing else, between now and November 2nd, uh, one of my big efforts is going to be, which I've tried to do uh, uh, all along is that uh, I think the most important thing we can do now is to educate the public on really what the form of government that we have. And you know a lot of a lot of has been said about the strong mayor form of government and the relationship between the mayor and the council. But I can tell you that everything, every single positive item that's been brought out in this election and uh, that uh, you know Mayor Galley has uh, promoted in his ads and has taken credit for the council's actually voted for. I mean, there isn't anything that can go on or move forward without council approval. So, so I think that, you know, we've been leading, misleading the public and really not uh, bringing the facts out when we don't uh, let the public have an opportunity to understand that with this form of government, once an issue is presented, no matter how you look at it, you have to have the council to approve it whether it's contracts, whether it's, uh, whether it's a deal that has to do with the uh, development. Um, any, anything, that's, anything that's proposed has to come before the council at one point. And uh, I can show, uh, you know, a whole list of resolutions were uh, in support of Mayor Galley and the fact that they were passed 7 up, seven up and 6 one five two. So I, I think, unfortunately, uh, with the last two uh, mayors, uh, this, this thing about the council and the mayor fighting is being, is being used uh, for, you know, for political purposes mm -hmm. more than anything else because uh, uh, the fact is that the council, by nature, the way it's put together, you have to have this public debate. That's what the legislative branch does. It does and, and performs their business and carries on their business in public. So, you know, the three of us could look like we're arguing, but when, when we get to the 7 o'clock meeting, it's time to vote. You know, we take everybody's argument and we put it together and it comes out as a vote. Uh -huh. And I can show you that most votes on this council for the last three and a half years have been 7 nothing, 6 one 5 2 mm -hmm. But it's, it's to the advantage of the adversary, so to speak, if the mayor puts himself in an adversarial position, to say that the council is fighting and the council is uh, um, uh, not getting along with the mayor. Uh, I think instead of fighting, we're going to have to start using the word deliberating, uh, discussing the issues, bring your idea forward, arguing your idea. Because if you, have, if you bring something to the table and you want to push it, you're going to give all the good points that you think about the idea. And I might have a different idea and I'm going to start having discussions with you and I'm going to challenge you. Well, a challenge in that format is not fighting. You know, it's, it's it, government. It's government. You know, and it, it just uh, it just amazes me that we, we've been be able to you know people have been able to sell this idea that the council and the mayor don't get along, but no one is really saying, well, if they don't get along, how come we have this long list of things that've been accomplished in the last three and a half years? For instance, we changed the budget process. I mean, during during the time that I was chairman, we we brought forth the idea that we would have a 72-hour cooling-off period. Now, you name another government in New York State where it gives the executive branch 72 hours to readdress and redress their argument on an issue before the legislative branch votes on it. It just doesn't happen. But we were willing to do that because the budget process was becoming very you know, antagonistic and warlike. Uh, the fact is that we have a line item budget. And by the fact that it is a line item budget, every single point becomes an area that you deliberate, argue, discuss, debate, debate. <laughs> you know, all of the good words. But Vince, uh, that's looking back. Let's look forward. You have, you have, you're going to have a new mayor. All right. The, the people of the city said we want a new mayor. 
and it's either going to be Irene Elia or it's going to be Johnny Carter. Right. And you also have two running mates that are brand new faces. Right. What do you think the message from the, from the, this, the people who live in this city, what do you think that means when, when they brought in all these fresh and unfortunately they brought you back, and they said, uh, what, what's the message they're giving you? Well, I, I feel there is a message there. And uh, first of all, let me say I, I'm happy to be back uh, to this point. Of course, we still have the general election in November. And, you know, we have uh, good candidates on both sides of the, uh, of the aisle. And um, what's nice about between now and November is the fact that maybe now we will start discussing the issues. Mm -hmm. You know, we will have some intelligent debates to where we don't have to, you know, talk about, like you said, the past, okay? And I'm, I'm well willing to put all the past behind us, and, I, and I'm willing to discuss the issues. And I think the message that the people in Niagara Falls have sent out is that um, they want the bickering to stop, okay? They, they, they want this, uh, you know, whether it's justified or not, they want this to stop. They want people to be able to sit down and be able to discuss the issues and get along with the mayor. Well, let me tell you, the best way to get along with the mayor is for the mayor to bring you in, okay? I don't think we've had that with the last two mayors. I, I think I think they start out that way, and something happens midstream. Well, what, what happens midstream is this this constant pressure that you that you have to be a strong mayor. You know, it's it's called chief executive officer. The mayor is the you know CEO, but you can't run the city in that way because you have a legislative branch. Well, you're the business manager, and the idea right. is you can manage from a, from a stronger point of view than we had when Mayor Mike was exactly. still here before the new charter came in. You right. can certainly be more assertive about how you manage because the charter allows you to do that. That doesn't necessarily dictate that you have to be aggressive who, about it. Who allows you to do your work where you're at? at my, my board of directors. Your board of directors. Okay, now, can you just drive an idea down their throat or do you have to bring them around? Not with the 13 people I work for. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, but I don't hear anybody saying that, you're, that you don't get along with your board. That's true. Government should be operated the same as, as even in the private sector where there are boards of directors that make the exactly. terminations and set the exactly. policy Exactly. It's a board it. of directors. But before we go one more step, I just want to say I want to thank everybody who went out there today. I want to thank uh, all the taxpayers in Niagara Falls that really let me know what they felt and how they thought. And I want to thank all my Italian-American friends and neighbors <laughs> and my Sicilian family. I want to thank them and say thank you very much. Okay, Vince, Congratulations. thank you for being with us. Congratulations again. Okay. Back to Luke. Vincent?